Hello everybody, as I'm walking to my training place, I would like to take this time to talk about the entry bar into my sport, Life Saving. If you're new to my vlog, I'm Dennis, I'm Life Saving at the lead. And to be honest, the entry bar is not low. If you're following my vlog, you can see that I train a, a range of things from track and field, to swimming, to kayaking, and I train both in the pool as well as in the sea, at the sea as well. Uh, even to compete in the competition itself, you need a cert, which is in Singapore, you need minimally the bronze medallion to compete in steel water, and bronze cross to compete in open water competition itself. And to be honest, if let's say you're, 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 you're someone who's interested to do what I'm doing, uh, you can reach out to your institution behind the school, check if uh, your institution have a life-saving team or not. Or alternatively, uh, you can just uh, DM me. I'll put my link, my IG link below. Drop me a message. Uh, let me know and I'll try my best to link you up. I cannot guarantee you a team uh, in life-saving, but I can through my network uh, refer you to a friend. Hopefully find, some, some, uh, hope, find a team that uh, matches your appetite and can help you along the way. Because one of the challenge the community life saving the sport itself face is getting new blood, you know, and getting people to be in the sport itself. Because of the requirement, not just the physical like logistic training equipment requirements, uh, it's also the cert as well. As well. All this like discourages people to try this sport. But if you're in the position that you're interested to do what I do, do let me know or even comment below. I'm sure my fellow life saving competitive peers, uh, they are more than happy to help you out, you know. All right. Good morning, everybody. It's a Saturday morning start of T-22 week and we are back here doing board repairs this is the fifth week straight we are doing this and what we are doing now is we are just sending off this fiberglass uh, that we put so the process is very long because the cure time can be very long some take up to one we depend on the e-proxy or the uh, yeah the e-proxy we use you know so first we were like put uh, we are sent down the hole make sure it's rough put uh, this piece of fiberglass maybe a few pieces and then after that we use e-proxy to cover the area so after it's done right you can see it's uh this is how it look like and you can see this area right is actually is hard and sharp so we are now going to sand it down with the tool sand it down until it's smooth like this something like that lah. yeah all right start of week t minus 22 board repair hopefully this is the last week this is the fifth week uh fifth week in a row we are doing this yeah let's go challenging for me to catch up good morning everybody it's a uh, five it's 5 37 on a sunday morning that right now uh timing wise is quite early but i'm feeling very well rested because yesterday night i slept very, uh i slept at 9 p.m so uh it's about i have about eight eight hours of sleep and i woke up naturally like i just sleep 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 then i didn't there's no alarm i just woke up i was like oh 5 30 right uh looking ahead right now uh today I'm, i will do a swim session uh, in the morning and then after that i'll do a run session in the evening uh yeah probably at the gym so that i can also do some static exercises some stretches uh yeah 
For now, I'm gonna have my breakfast, and you may be wondering why it's open at 5.30. My area actually quite a lot of uh, stores are already open. Uh, yeah, my market, uh, my area down here, the market open quite early. And yeah, uh, I'll bring you along, let's see what I'm having for breakfast. Let's go. There's quite a lot of stores open down here already, early in the morning. Uh, yeah, those with lights, uh, normally they already start selling already. And I'm here for breakfast right now. I'm having Kuo Tiao Kan down here. Uh, yeah, this is the Kuo Tiao Kan. Oh, we still have the pork lard. This is the pork lard. Not gonna eat that today. Got one more pork lard. During this period, I'm gonna skip eating all this pork lard. Uh, with the hopes to have better performance. Honestly, not, I'm not sure how uh, how much does it affect, but well, you want to avoid this until the competition ends. Maybe once in a while, I will, uh, once in a while, sometimes we, uh, sometimes I will like, like have it close one eye. I'm not very strict on like diet, uh, I would say not as strict as some of the people I know, uh, some of my friends who I know. They really count the calories up to the protein and all the veggies and stuff like that. I think it's uh, too much of a hassle and it's it's not sustain sustainable I feel. So I'm not gonna do like micromanage my diet but I will take note of these kind of things like oh uh, if I can avoid yeah I'll just avoid it. Yeah breakfast time just done with breakfast. Actually, I'm a very I'm a morning person, so at this time I feel very alive, you know. Uh, I, I, but the thing is, like, not not like I'm a morning person, right? Every day at five or thirty, I'll be alive. It's because yesterday I slept early. If with good rest, right, I feel very alive in the morning. It's like wow, morning is like my thing. Uh, yeah, that's why I feel. I feel good in the morning. When I'm well rested, of course, yeah. Right, going to going back to edit some video before I go for a swim. See you guys. The time now is it's eight thirty three right now. Uh, I'm waiting for the bus to my swimming uh, place. I'm planning to train at Geylang East Swimming Complex because the layout there is ideal for what I'm going to train right now. And you can see the the equipment I'm carrying today is. Uh, quite li a little, consider considerably lesser than uh, what I normally do because in public pool right, if I train there, I cannot use things like snorkels, fins, pedals so my training sets will only be kickboard or pool boy in this case uh, yeah, so equipment wise is very limited and also in terms of filming, I won't be able to film underwater shots uh, yeah, uh, that's not allowed in public pool unless like you book the lane or stuff like that so yeah, that's something I'll avoid doing. Maybe I'll do a time lapse at the top, uh, on top of the pool. Uh, yeah. So waiting for my bus for uh, to go morning tr swimming training. Sorry, I wasn't allowed to film uh, even above water in the public pool. So there's no training footage. I'm skipping straight to Monday. Good morning, everybody. It's a Monday morning time now. It's seven thirty-five right now, and. I'm heading for my breakfast, skip morning training uh, to extend my sleep, to give my body uh, more rest time for today. And I'm very excited this week because this week is a short work week and Friday is a like wow cut. Not sure what I can do down there uh, or not sure what I'm planning to do. I'm looking at maybe uh, cy cycling to East Coast Park and having an open water swim there. Not very sure. Uh, I'll plan along. I just remember that today at work, I have this driving test. Uh, it's not an ordinary dri driving test. I already have a class 3 driving license, but this driving test is to allow you to drive in the air side, uh, basically like Changi Airport uh, for work-wise. And which I obviously haven't been studying over the weekends because, yeah. I wonder if, I hope it will go well. Hope I don't fail. Alright, time now is, it is 1.28 right now. I'm currently looking for a place to study. Ah, okay, I'm gonna sit here to study for my theory test, driving theory test. Uh, supposedly this driving theory test is very easy. 
to fail one because out of 25 MCQ you can you must get like 23 or above to pass the test. Uh, yeah, my test is at 2:30. Going to study a bit for that test. Hopefully, I pass. I'm heading for my dinner right now. Time now is uh, 4:50. Four. It's 4:54 right now. Heading for my dinner right now. Uh, today workday wasn't good. Uh, I was going for this driving test, right? This uh, theory test, which they didn't allow me to take due to reasons which uh, it's better not to share on the vlog. But basically, I didn't manage to take my test today. And yeah, but I just came out of a meeting which uh, motivates me to strive for the next few weeks. Actually, for the next few months, actually. It's about like optimizing performance. Part of it is optimizing performance. How we can do better in certain aspect in the things I do, lah. Basically. Hello, everybody. Uh, the time now is six sixteen. Now I'm waiting for my bus to go training. Uh, ever since I ended work today, there's a thought that keeps bugging me. It's about uh, optimizing performance in my workplace, uh, my job related thing, and. It aligns to what I do as a hobby in my sports as well, uh, in racing. I, I'm constantly thinking about how can I optimize my performance, whether is it in like swimming, running, uh, launching a craft or stuff like that. Even when I fight also, how can I execute a thing? How can I attack in a most uh, efficient way? How can I do a fake and stuff like that? Like it aligns to my character, you see. It's something that motivates me. And I keep on thinking of this uh, in work, like even outside work thinking of uh, how to optimize performance I believe I can value it to my company in this way uh, looking ahead the next few months is I would say very interesting right now after training I'm having a small snack prata after training and more or less that's it that's it for the fun day good morning everybody it's a Tuesday morning time now it is 7 16 right now I'm heading to the gym for a short workout and then after that I'll head straight to work and breakfast and work uh, straight away uh, looking at today's uh, plan tonight I'll be gymming again with, uh, with one of my friends and pretty much it. Today is two gym session and a work day. after gym morning is usually very rush now we're going to shower and go straight to work and then breakfast will be on the way
it's 9.38 right now Just finished gym, uh, just finished dinner And heading back It's been a very tiring day today uh, But very fulfilling as well uh, Work day was quite productive Quite good in a sense Good, yeah uh, Tomorrow will be another typical uh, Typical work day plus uh, Yeah, training plus work day And oh, tomorrow I'll, I'm trying to go for my dad uh, theory my uh, FU driving test again theory test for the next time for work yeah oh and my friend bought this uh, this 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 protein I seldom drink protein by the way this protein shake like I no, haven't drank it very long but this is from cold storage and it's apparently it's on discount there is uh, some promotion it's cheaper so he bought like quite a lot and I decided to try one uh. Uh, Gonna try for tomorrow's morning training Because I feel, felt like today's training uh, Didn't really burn so much You know So tomorrow morning's training I'm gonna plan a set that Like it's a heavy set Such that I'll need that protein to recover Good morning everybody So Wednesday morning time now is seven. It's 8.15 right now and when I woke up this morning, I saw the time it was 7.30 I straight away knew I couldn't make it for my morning training today But the first thought that came to my mind was breakfast As I knew exactly what I was going to eat for breakfast right away And I'm heading for it right now And this is the breakfast set I'm looking forward to It's the typical traditional breakfast set But the awesome thing about this set is This whole set is $2 But it's limited to like $1 uh, one set per, per person yeah. Wow, it's awesome man Let's take in The time now is 7.38 right now I just, I'm just, just done with work and I'm gonna have my dinner right here because based on the traveling time back home uh, I think this is the ideal time for me to have dinner and what's gonna happen is I'm going to uh, head back get changed and it should be just nice about time I can go exercise then after that I'm gonna call, uh, rest for the day so that's the plan eat, train, sleep It's a Thursday morning. Time now is it's 7:22, and it's the last work day for this week because tomorrow will be Good Friday. And I'm heading to the gym right now for a short training. Uh, this morning's training is mainly stretches, and I'm going to do uh, some pull up, pull up sets, maybe 10 sets of like pull up uh, exercises, and we are going to call it a day for the morning training. Uh, for tonight, I'll be doing, uh, I'll have a swim training tonight And that's pretty much it today for today's uh, schedule Train, work, train, rest uh, See you in the gym
158 right now and I didn't manage to do the pull-up sets I think I spent like 45 minutes stretching yeah uh, morning is a bit rushed it's usually very rushed because uh, you need to make it to work today I work at 9.30 I need to reach uh, my workplace at 9.30 so if I continue with my sets I'll probably be late you know yeah a few ways to go about this is either you uh, sacrifice your sleep wake up a bit earlier and train then you can complete your set or you late for work which is unacceptable I'm always early I'll try my, try my best to make it early you know uh, yeah so in this instance I'll sacrifice some sets uh, yeah I'm halfway in my commute to work and I'm gonna grab breakfast right and down here this bread shop I'm gonna buy a bread and eat because uh, that's like uh, very tight on time and I have no time to go like out of the way to grab something so for today just got to do with uh, this breakfast gonna grab go grab and go and eat while I walk wow there's a lot of people down here almost couldn't find a place to stand but yeah okay I'm gonna be right next to Max having my breakfast down here so I don't think we cannot eat in the MRT like I'm waiting to go in MRT but uh, the, no eating is allowed on the train if not you get fined like $500 or something like that so I'm gonna eat, uh, finish my bread before I continue the commute. Takes about one, two minutes. Yeah. Hello guys, time now is it's twelve thirty one right now. We're just done with the morning, uh, the first portion of work today, uh, and now we are heading back to the office for yeah. It will be a long day, full of like meetings and other stuff. And the challenge down here is there'll be no lunch. It's twelve thirty now. By the time I reach uh, office, uh, it will be about one like that. And my next meeting actually starts at one. And it will be a challenge to put uh, to 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 uh, find something to eat. Uh, and I foresee that before my night training later, I'll be super hungry. But we'll see. Uh, I'll, I'll think of way to work around that. Maybe you get some snacks. Right, time now is 3.51 right now and finally had some have some breather able to eat lunch at 3.51 Very very hungry but I think it turns out quite well uh, I'm gonna eat like now and then just nice I'll go train at 7pm 7, 7 later and I'm gonna eat my dinner and after training which should be about 10.30 10pm 10 10.30 10 so just nice a uh, super late lunch which is like now 3 pm almost 4 pm and uh, late dinner also Fish. what's up everybody just done with training wow today's today is the time fly past just like boom I didn't know, uh, I know uh, it was after work then I was like going on going for training and before I know it training has ended and I'm down here eating my dinner right now so at this time right time now oh, I don't have a watch but I think it should be about 10 ah. okay time now it is 10 10 28 right now and the only store open is this noodle store so you can see this is the long queue this is the midnight noodle store that I've eaten here before after training and I usually eat down here because nothing else is open uh, yeah there's nothing left to eat at this time so more or less no choice that got me thinking of uh, one of the point uh, about meal preps you know so as an athlete we all know need to eat healthy and stuff like that and honestly I did uh, consider nutri uh, food engaging uh, nutri kitchen before but after like uh, weighing the cost and be uh, the benefit, I felt that maybe it wasn't uh, it wasn't worth it. But as I'm, I was, I was making my way back home today. While I was uh, talking to one of my teammate who have a very good experience in this kind of meal prep thing, and I'm rethinking about meal preps. You know, maybe doing uh, at least a basic one. At least not eating something like off the off the shelf or off the market have a bit of thought about like uh, things like that and I do have a lot of friends who who prepare their meals on like for example uh, eat a few eggs or maybe four eggs before uh, in the morning and stuff like that so 
so yeah it's something that I think you all think about and execute in next week or next uh, next week's uh, next week's uh, focus I would say try it out and see how it goes just got my dinner down here and time now is actually oh it's 11 I actually queued like half an hour for this dinner wow but to be honest this dinner uh this this blue mian right i call it the midnight noodles it's damn shook but uh yeah yeah the thing about this is it's not athlete friendly you see this one you got fried this one you got fried this one also a fried but wow that's why i i'm seriously considering meal prep and i will start from tomorrow actually tomorrow is an interesting day tomorrow i'll be working actually uh working as a lifeguard literally part-time lifeguard yeah uh so i don't i i don't need a uh, meal prep for like probably lunch and yeah lunch uh because tomorrow is a public holiday it's good friday and if you work on a public holiday i think they still have this policy they, they will like the company will provide lunch uh, but if I'm wrong, the most I'll just buy something from there. But I think it still stands, you know. Like, yeah. So I don't need meal prep for lunch. Uh, I will meal prep for breakfast. Uh, yeah. I'm going to see to use my 365 voucher. 365 is a, is a government initiative for those who of you who do not know. Like those overseas, uh, those viewers from like, non-Singapore. Uh, 365 is an initiative from the government to incentivize like, uh, people to walk like 10,000 steps now it's actually 5,000 steps you know clock their daily steps well, then uh, they will reward you points which you can exchange for like food exchange for stuff lah like Mr. Bean Koi also have I think I mean, maybe not Koi I think it's Liho or something like that but normally I change NTC voucher to buy more like um, buy milk buy cereal yeah, yeah let, let, let me show you the cereal that I buy it's called Nutri Grade Grain uh, I did learn. I only, I did learn that. Well, that that's a very good breakfast cereal. Uh, back in twenty eighteen, like the whole team, where in Australia, I remember, like they, the 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 team bought Nutri Grain in 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 uh, I don't know in cartons. I don't know. It's like super a lot like, But like, hmm. That's how I learned about Nutri Grain. I mean, yeah. It's like the athlete's choice. Not sure if they have it today though. Uh, later I'll go NTUC and check it out. Yeah, but for now, dinner first. Oh no, there's no I more new tree green down here. There. there is absolutely no more. I don't know, is it they don't take new tree green anymore? Or... Yeah, last time I bought from here, the exact same place. And they do have it's like down here, this area. Yeah, so I was just looking around and I just saw things like this one, you see. Oh, dark chocolate, looks very nice. Then I will turn and look at the content, it says like, the sugar, sugar there, it is per 100 gram, we have 30 sugar, that's like 30% of milk sugar. Like. Not sure if this is even healthy, but wow, looks good. <laughs> Well, that's why I cannot do the meal prep, right? Every time I do meal prep, I see this one. Uh, like, that's some, something I don't know how to read, right? Like, you know, Google and stuff like that. I don't know why it's good. You know? Wow, with so many choices, normally, I don't know what, what should I choose down here. But then when I look, 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 right? Actually, I realize I see this one. Two for eight, eighty-three. Wow, okay. Then, host it already. I just take this one, can already. And someone is the last two pack, I think. Uh, I'm gonna buy this one, but I don't even know what's the sugar level. Maybe just take a look. Why this one so cheap? Ah? Oh, sweet sugar out of 100 gram. 22 gram is sugar. This is how you read, right? 22 gram sugar out of 100 gram. So it's like one fifth of this thing is sugar. But it's on promotion. Two for, the, two for 880 compared to the rest. Okay, so let's take this. Let's try it. Good morning everybody <coughs> It's a good Friday morning time now is it's 6 41 right now and I'm having uh, my breakfast before working and it's not my full-time work today today is a holiday I have no work uh, like my food for my full-time work 
Uh, but I'm working as a lifeguard later. It's my part-time work, literally like part-time lifesaver. Literally part-time lifesaver. And these are snacks I bought. Snacks, yeah, this is the breakfast I bought yesterday. Uh, yeah, to be honest, it's not really like uh, may not really be very healthy, you know. But it was on discount, like two for eight something. So I decided to try this. This is my first time uh, eating this. Well, but for real, I am really thinking about like meal prep, and I probably I'm probably gonna do it next week. Uh, over the this today and tomorrow I will do more research a more thorough research uh, yeah but for this uh, yeah I'm just uh, getting uh, breakfast so yeah we milk yeah, even this is also on uh, discount yesterday it's like 2 for 3 3 something 3.30 This is almond soya milk. Almond soya milk together with uh, what, what is the other one? Some crunchy stuff. Oh, finish within three days of opening. Yeah. So this is probably gonna be my next three days breakfast. This I have two of these and two of these because uh, they are both uh, uh, on like, discount two for two for uh, discounted price yeah okay first uh, test taste mm. I just to be honest I eat a lot of things uh, uh, there's a lot of things I eat right like I won't complain a lot of uh, uh, about food I'm not a very picky eater but if there's something that I don't eat, right, that means there's something is really, uh, really jia. Okay, I won't say jia lah. Maybe not nice, yeah. Mm, I don't eat durian. Other than like, I don't eat du durian. Durian is like unique taste, right? It's either you like it or you don't like it. I don't like durians. But other than that, everything else that like moves a little bit, yeah, I eat it. Um, That's why you probably watch my diet, right? Yeah, because I'm eating everything, like literally everything. Hmm, not bad. It's living up to the sugar standard that we see yesterday, or is it? Hmm. One fifth of this of this snack is sugar, and it's living up to it. Uh, it's not like super sweet, but it's like nice kind of sweet. Yeah. Hey, after I eat breakfast, I'm gonna. Uh, do some laundry and then I'm gonna leave for work. I'm gonna cycle to work later. Yeah.
And today I'm also training as a movie here. So what I'm training for is actually this event called SERC, which stands for Simulated Emergency Response Competition. It's one very unique event in the life-saving competition where uh, there will be a scenario that the judge will set of people with, uh, in, in distress, people uh, need help. Then different teams of lifeguards uh, in the team of Party 4 will come out and attend to the situation. So they will try and save as many people, try and make the situation. Uh, yeah, basically it's, it's a test of response and we score points for it. I work today, how I'm training is like the intellectual part where I'm thinking of how can I rescue this? If this situation happens, what should I do? What equipment should I use? How much faster so I can get to it? I'll get to them and stuff like that. And of course, uh, part and parcel of uh, working as a lifeguard is to attend to first aid, any first aid cases, uh, anybody in distress definitely, the, the waters are the main priority in lifeguard. So yeah, that's pretty much going to be my day for today. But the good part will be the last entry for this week's vlog, T-22 vlog. Uh, thank you all guys for watching my vlogs. Uh, I hope you value that. Uh, I hope it's entertaining or it value as for you in some way. Click here to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the future videos.